Hello everyone, today I am going to create this truncated octahedron in Revit using the massing technique. The process is very simple, you can use this method to create almost any type of polyhedrons in Revit. But before we start, let me ask you to like and share my videos, leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you have any kind of difficulty in Revit, you can ask me anytime. So now let's start with the tutorial. Open a new architectural template file in Revit. You can also use the family uh, family template file of Messing. Then go to the in place mess. Click OK. And first of all, I'm going to draw a square of 5 feet by 5 feet in the level 1 floor plan. Now select the line, this model line, and Place a line at an angle of 45 degrees at here. After that, again select this line. Make sure 3D snapping is checked. And make sure drawn face is selected. And then place a line here like this. After that, go to the south elevation. Again, select the line. Set the reference plane to this surface of the reference point uncheck this 3d snapping and then draw a line at an angle of 45 degrees like this then select this point and draw and drag the blue axis to meet this line then delete the previous line and when you select this line you can see that its length is like 8 feet 10 inches which is wrong Make this line as a reference line as you can see and set the reference plane to this surface of this reference line. Then place a line like this and make sure its dimension, its length is 5 feet. After that delete this reference line and now we have uh, placed a line in our 3d which is 5 feet in length and is placed at an angle of 45 degrees like this then delete this line use tab button for single selection now select it and mirror it to copy it on uh, to place it on the remaining three corners and it kind of looks like this Now go to the level 1 floor plan and place some reference points like this. You can see these dashed uh, blue lines and with the help of them place these reference points like this. Okay, after that select this one reference point and drag it till you see this blue dashed lines so you uh, and when you see them stop right there now select all of these remaining reference points go to the south elevation and move them till this point then go to the 3d and select this line make sure 3d snapping is checked and drawn face is selected and then connect all of these points like this one way to make sure that you are working correctly is that all of these uh, all uh, the length of all of these lines should be 5 feet from where we have started it should not be less than 5 feet it should not be more than 5 feet now go to the south elevation and select this reference point and copy it till you see this blue dashed lines again select this one copy it till that point and in the 3d we need to copy two more points then select this and select it uh, press control button for multiple selection and copy it till these points now again select the line and make sure drawn face is selected 3d snapping is checked and then connect 
the points like this. Again, you can check the length of all of these lines and it should be five feet. Now go to the level one floor plan and place four points like this and make sure draw on work plane is selected. Then select this one point, go to the south elevation and drag it. Do not stop here, drag it a bit upwards and yes, that's the right point. Stop it right there and then go to the level one, select the remaining three points. Go to the south elevation and move it till here. Then go to 3D and select the line. Make sure drawn face is selected and 3D snapping is checked. And then start connecting these points as shown in the video. So now the line work of this truncated octahedron is complete and it looks like this. Now select all of this and from here select this lines mass and now you can see that all of the length uh, is 5 feet which is correct and then make these, all, make these lines as reference lines. Click apply. Now select these lines one by one use control button for multiple selection and then click on create form you can either give it a thickness or make it a single surface like this so repeat this step on all of these uh, lines one by one to make surfaces so i have skipped the part and i have created the surfaces as i have shown previously again select all of this and from here select the form and assign material parameter to it and from this dialog box open this material browser and assign material of your own choice i'm going to give it the material of paint Now exit the mass mod, ignore the error and our truncated octahedron is complete and it looks like this. You can use this technique to create any type, almost any type of polyhedrons like the dodecahedron or any other complex shapes. So that's all for today. I hope you like this tutorial. If you have any kind of difficulty, you can ask me anytime. I will meet you guys in the next video. Till then, goodbye and take care. And most importantly, don't forget to like, share and subscribe.